What's going on, y'all? It's your boy TDK, and I'm bye bye back in my favorite place, Dallas, Texas. And what not a better way to start the game, bye? It's the kickoff shouting. And either he messed up or I messed up. And boy, it is a wrap. Give it up. Give it up. It is blizzard time. Everybody, it is strip. You hurry up, God dang it. You look good. As you see, I think that was, I want to see. I don't know who got the strip. I just know Patrick Peterson. He ended up uh, recovering the ball. So I was definitely excited about that. That's a great way to start the game. I love playing out here in Dallas. I love playing over here in Cowboy Stadium, AT&T Stadium, whatever you want to call it. I love being in this stadium. Something right always goes for you boys. It's just something always goes right for me. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. I did have one game where I think something went wrong. But for the most part, things always seem to go right out here in Dallas, Texas for your boy. I love it out here, man. Nonetheless, you see my boy Reggie Bush out of backfield. He got maybe a yard. So I said, you know what? Let's put Adrian Peterson in the backfield. Let him do his thing. Roll out to the left. Just tuck the ball to him, basically. It was basically like a check down. It was super easy. And then right here, when it down, this fool just throws the fade right. My man ain't waste no time. Shawty got straight to the business. It's just like that, that night before the test. Then that morning of the test, your teacher just said, hey, put down your pencils and your pens because we're about to get this test in. It's like, damn, G, I can't even get a warm-up. Or maybe I didn't have enough time to sit next to this, like the smartest girl in the class. I could have sweet-talked Shawty, go ahead and get the, get the answers. Or maybe I could have sat next to the nerd and I could have punked that man to get the, get the answers. You dig what I'm saying? One of them type of situations. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> I ain't gonna do nobody like that. Nonetheless, you see this cloud going right back to the fade route and check this out. And by the way, no, no, a shoulder. What are you doing? What are you doing? As you can see, this dude is just like got no type of users. Patrick Peterson right back at it as usual. So, of course, naturally, I was feeling some type of way because he was throwing a bunch of fade routes. So, it's only right if I hit my man with the trash buckets. Look at all kinds of nice. The trash he waving, letting it be no Boy, you was ass cheeks. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I wouldn't even say your fake dream like that. That'd just be wrong with me to do that to you. Nonetheless, we do have the ball. We're on our second overall drive. We got Steve Young keeping the ball for himself. You know, feeling mighty greedy and all that good stuff. Because, you know... Who better to keep the ball in their hands than my boy Steve Young? I love being out here in Texas. But like I said, my man wasted no time. Got straight to the fade routes. It's just like that morning when you know you got to go take that test. And your teacher is like, oh, off top, you know. Stopping that test. And you're like, I ain't getting no warm-up, man. That, that's just wrong. That's just not even right. I need to sit next to somebody just in case if I didn't study. Or maybe I didn't have a great balanced breakfast in the morning. So now I got to pay for it. Now I might run a test. The chance of getting like a C minus on the test, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't be failing no tests out here. That's just a bad look. I ain't even gonna flex. I'm at least get that C minus. Well, I'm gonna come see you about it. No, I'm just playing. I ain't gonna flex with my teacher like that. Nonetheless, we do pass uh, midfield. We are on our way looking to try to get into this end zone. We dumped the ball off to my boy Le'Veon Bell. He gets us a few yards. Shout out to my boy Le'Veon Bell. He's doing his thing. He letting it be known. We got the first down on deck. We're on like the 30-yard line. I believe we're on, you're on the 30-yard line. So we're looking pretty well right now. Everything's looking pretty darn good. We're, and then we got injuries. Then we got stupid old injuries. You're killing me, Smalls. Look at this, man. Look at That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. LaShawn McCord is golden ticket. I've been uh, going back and forth between him. Oh, my fault. That was Reggie Bush. I've been going back uh, back and forth between uh, LaShawn McCoy and Reggie Bush coming out of that backfield. And as you see, CJ2K, he's in the end zone doing his thing. But I've been going back and forth between those two just because, I mean, if you think about it, majority of the time I have. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. So... Coming to do the, the two-point conversion, I totally messed up, yo. So, I said, screw it. I'm going to try to salvage it and just put people on slants and, and drag routes. And as you see, it just, it was an epic fail all around. And then, when in doubt, throw the stupid streak route. Because eventually, the, the stupid play is going to work. The, you, you can't. You can't stop it, but what I can do is have users on deck because I do this defense for real, old man. EA Sports, you dad boys know you owe me a hundred favors. But like I was saying about Reggie Bush and um and uh who else? Reggie Bush and Lashawn McCoy. Uh, normally hashtag truth and y'all know I mostly just rock with uh, Reggie Bush coming out of that backfield. But I was thinking about, it, I was like, damn, you know, Lashawn McCoy. He, he don't really see a whole lot of time, and I ain't gonna flex. I think I spent like 800k on his sorry ass. And did I just see a fumble? Damn, China, you are killing me, EA, with the BS in there right here. I can't even flex. That was just a good play. Great play by him. 
I mean, EA hates to see their children lose, so, you know, they they, they going to help out their children any way they can. Like I was saying, I do go back and forth between those two, because I just don't want no coins to go to waste. I mean, if I'm going to spend some, some nice little coins, I mean, I'm not cheap. But if I'm a spin it, I might as well use it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let it just sit back and collect dust. Nonetheless, this clown gets into the end zone. Tries to go for the two-point conversion. Doesn't work out for him. So now we have the ball with a little under two minutes left to go in the first half. Right here on the second and seventh, I believe. Well, look at what we're looking at. Guess what we do? Check the ball down to Le'Veon Bell. He's probably my most unrated, maybe unused person on my team. But the like probably one of the most reliable um, players in the game. As far as on my team. And look at my boy Adrian Peterson. I'm not even going to lie. That wasn't so much Adrian Peterson as it was the blocking. Like the blocking was 100% on point. Which is super rare in this game. Like for blocking to be on point in this game. That, that's that's rare. I mean I don't have to tell y'all hashtag children. Y'all know how it goes. That's super rare. Nonetheless we are starting the second half of the game. And all that good stuff. We do get the ball. Um, I'm definitely excited. We're up 21 to 6 on this clan. I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. I'm in Dallas, Texas. We got AJ Peterson keeping the ball, and then we get stopped in the backfield. I'm like, damn, Jay, that's second and 11. We got to make something happen. So we keep the ball with my boy Steve Young, and then, of course, naturally, I put the spin move on this man, and I'm breaking ankles, kind of like my boy DeAndre Hopkins, who broke D'Angelo's Hall, um, D'Angelo Hall's ankles. If y'all see that video on World Star, y'all got to check that joint out, yo. D'Angelo Hall, I'm a, I'm a fan of him, but I mean, damn, Jaina. If you, I'm telling you, hashtag children, if you have not seen that video, it's probably on YouTube also, but I just happen to see it on Worldstar. If you get a chance to see my boy D'Angelo Hall, whoo, Hawkins gave that boy that work, yeah. <laughs> I ain't even gonna flex, but I'm not even gonna play checkers. I'm gonna play chess. Like, man, it, it was nasty. You would have thought. My boy D'Angelo Hall is like, ankles was 100% just broke. Like, it was nasty how Hopkins did the boy. But anyways, we are across midfield. We have um, allowed this fool to jump off sides. We let that hashtag fast break offense um, get to him. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't able to get back in time, so I got him off sides. That's how we got to the uh, first and five. Right here on his first and goal. What are we looking to do? We're looking to get the ball to my boy Reggie Bush. I believe that's Reggie Bush. No, it's just, I think it's Deshaun McCoy. One of them. Too many damn 25s. Man, I got too many running backs. Nonetheless, my boy Steve Young, he go ahead and gets himself into the end zone. And then when in doubt, or day and night, about this trifling life. I get the ball back to Jerry Rice. He out here doing his thing. Now watch this, yo. Watch my dude. Right here, he takes out his original quarterback and puts it, I think, Michael Vick. I think he puts it Michael Vick. At first, I think I may have been Russell Wilson. But then he puts it Michael Vick. And look at that. His offensive lineman. Misses the ball. My boy, the Dominican Sue, he's in the end zone now. So I'm like, damn, Jim. We out here getting it. We're uh, getting things done on special teams, offensively and defensively. And then we got my boy Jerry Rice just filling himself after that two-point conversion. So at this point, I'm dying. I'm like, bro, if you got to put in another quarterback to try to get something done, knowing you can't get it done, it, it, it's about that time to just call it a day. L-I-G, bro. Let it go. Go take a nap. Come by and you'll be all right. Nonetheless, coming up on his fourth and eight, beautiful. Ndamukong Sue, he gets a defensive touchdown. Then he ends up getting a sack to stop this clown. And then, of course, you know he will go ahead and quit out. So before he tried to quit out, I tried to report abuse. Yes, I tried to say my man was quitting early. But they wouldn't let me do it because he quit too fast. Anyways, it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy TDK. And I'm out.